I'm going to talk a little bit about the community again, but this time it's not about what they're teaching our kids. So the new public health emergency, according to the Department of Health and Human Services, is monkeypox. But I know they're trying to change the name to that to MPV virus instead of monkeypox. Because apparently some groups of people are getting offended because they're calling it monkeypox. I don't know why, but you know how that goes. Anyways, there's over 6,000 cases reported combined in 48 states. And... They say you can get it through touching something that a person with monkeypox has touched or just touching their skin or if they cough and breathe, you know, just like the virus, we had to wear the mask. They're saying precautions are wearing masks, washing your hands, wear your own clothes, don't wear anybody else's clothes. Basically the same kind of stuff we saw with the virus uh, in 2020. But the important thing here is Dr. Ashish Jha, one of the White House physicians and the one who's in charge of the COVID response, went on the view and spoke to the windbags a bit. And this is what he had to say about monkeypox and who's getting Dr. it. Dr. Jha, there are now more than 6,000 cases of monkeypox in 48 states. New York, California, and Illinois declared a state of emergency. And just yesterday, the Department of Health and Human Services declared this a public health emergency. We know the vaccines are in limited supply. So what is the Biden administration going to do to make sure we have enough vaccines for people in this country? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question, Anna. So let's talk about monkeypox. Primarily spend, uh, uh, spreading, about 98% of its spreading in one community, in the LGBTQ community. Um, so it is uh, focused there, and that's where we have to really focus our attention right now. So where are all the advocates now? Why aren't they out there with their signs and their bullhorns telling their people to knock it off, keep it in their pants, or wrap it up? The LGBTQ community has 98% of the cases that physicians are seeing of monkeypox. That from the White House physician, Dr. Ashish Jha. They're talking about vaccines. They have 600,000 doses and they're hoping to get a lot more. But we always hear about the LGBTQ when people are trying to stop them from grooming our kids or teaching their nonsense in schools, or taking children to drag shows, or these crazy wild, they're almost like orgy pride parades. But now that the monkeypox is spreading at a rate that high in the LGBTQ community, how come we haven't heard from all the advocates, all the supporters, all the, all, all the Hollywood elite who support that movement, how come they're not making TV commercials now telling these people to smarten up and stop doing what they're doing until they can get a handle on this virus? They're not saying nothing, but they come out and say it when people talk bad about their movement because how dare you talk bad about transgender people or LGBTQ or whatever the hell they want to call themselves. They are nothing but a bunch of so-called elitist hypocrites who they are so they're so laughable because they're so full of shit. They only want their 15 minutes on the screen when somebody's putting another person down or putting a group down or just basically saying don't teach gender identity to our children in schools. That's when you hear from these so-called elitists. But now that this virus, and it looks nasty, you've seen photos of it, the blisters, it's disgusting. But now that this virus is spreading that much amongst the LGBTQ community, everybody's, they're all, their mouths are all zipped. Everybody's quiet. So what does that tell you? It tells you they're just all full of shit. They don't care. 
They only want to come out and support something when it, they, they think it's bad. Like when parents want to say, don't teach that shit to my sixth grader. And the Hollywood elite come out, how dare you say that? They, can, they need to learn. Shut the fuck up. These people are nothing but millionaire buffoons. And they only open their mouths when they think that somebody's bullying a group that they support. Because that group is all liberals. All the Hollywood elite are liberals. So you know they're going to all join together. But a virus this nasty and ugly, they're not saying nothing. Not even the big LGBTQ advocates that you see all over TV. Every other day you see them when somebody's putting them down or allegedly harassing them or bullying them, but you don't see them now. This is coming from a White House physician who was in charge of COVID response. It came out of his mouth, his words. 98% of the cases are seen in men who have sex with men. And everybody's quiet. You can hear a fucking pin drop in the room because they don't want to get involved. Because, oh no, oh why? Are some of the Hollywood elite doing the same thing maybe? You bet your ass they are. But, of course, we'll never really, we'll never really see it. They'll never really admit it. But you all know what happens. But anyways, they're not saying a word. It's absolute bullshit. But they did say a few children have contracted this disease. But these children were in contact with men who have sex with men. Whether it's their children or relatives. No, the children weren't involved with the sex with the men. So don't go there. I'm not going there. I'm not saying that. They could be their children, family members. They had it, and these kids got it. The kids are okay, they're healthy. But my point of this short video is, all the mouths, all the advocates, all the protesters, all the politicians, all the bleeding heart, liberals, give us everything, we want everything, don't discriminate, don't discriminate against us, they're all silent. They talk about the disease, and then you hear them say, yeah, it's in the gay community, men with men. But you never heard until today, at least I haven't, that 98% of the cases are from gay men or LGBTQ. So it could be a dude who calls himself a woman, but he has a penis, and he's having sex with his husband, boyfriend, whatever the fuck they call themselves. So it's just ridiculous, and these people just can't own up to the fact that they're nothing but buffoons. They're loudmouth buffoons. They're fake. They're phony. They only open their mouth when they think that people are putting down something that they so embrace. Because, again, they're all bleeding hot liberals, and they're not going to talk about something bad because then they'll think, well, I can't knock my community. You know, the men are going to have sex with men. No one gives a fuck if men are having sex with men. But when they're spreading a disease and then just touching children in their home where they held their hand or hugged them, and these kids may be getting it, it's time to cut the shit. It's time to wrap it up. It's time to keep it in your pants or do something to stop the spread of this ugly disease before all of a sudden they shut down the whole freaking world again. Because one community is having a field day and then they're spreading this ugly disease. And that's it. If you haven't already liked this video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when there's another episode up. You'll never miss it. I hope everybody's healthy and safe. Share my videos with friends if you will. And I'll be back soon with something else. Have a great weekend.